Hey everyone, I'm Brett and welcome to Nightwood Guns. Today we are looking at the Radian Guardian optic mounting plate for Glock MOS pistols. So the Radian Guardian is the infamous optic plate system that has this shield up here at the front to protect your optic while racking it off of surfaces. And the initial announcement of this was met with quite a bit of criticism. Now, as many people know, some of you may not, the Glock MOS plates that come with the gun are kind of garbage. They put a lot of stress on the screws and a lot of people that shoot pretty heavily have had them pop right off the gun. Because of that, a lot of people have opted to go with either C&H Precision or if they want something really durable, going with a forward control designs plate. But when Radian announced their plate, the Guardian, it was met with controversy. So there were kind of two camps of people and one was the Guardian's kind of a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. And the other camp of people just like to ride the disco stick of their favorite brand and will purchase anything they put out. But what I haven't seen are a lot of actual objective analyses of the Guardian. So we're gonna take a look at this and see whether or not it's actually a quality product and whether or not it's worth your money. Now, full disclosure, Radian did send me this Guardian, but when I was speaking to them, they're aware that I'm an honest channel. They weren't even expecting me to make content for it. They just wanted feedback for the product and wanted to get it out there in the world, have it tested on a larger scale, that kind of stuff. But they said that I could make a video on it if I wanted to, fully aware that I'm an honest channel and encouraged me to be honest. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the good and the bad of this optic plate system. I think this might actually be my favorite Glock MOS plate regardless of some of the issues. You might actually be surprised by some of the pros when it comes to this optic plate, so be sure to stay tuned to see what I like about it. Maybe people were a little too quick to completely write this thing off, so, so we'll take a look at this thing, I'll tell you what my thoughts are. And also a huge thank you to True Shot Ammo for supporting the channel. The number one cost on this channel and the biggest struggle that I had was the cost of ammunition. So the fact that I have partnered with True Shot and they're going to be sending me ammo for videos genuinely makes a huge difference. So if you wanna support the amazing company that's supporting this channel, the next time you need ammunition, be sure to get it over at True Shot Ammo. Their customer service is second to none. They always have excellent stock and their prices are pretty amazing. So the next time you need ammo, head over to True Shot. Other than that, the links in the description below are the place to be if you want to support the channel throughout the video. You can buy my books on Amazon. You can sign up for future online shooting courses that I offer. And of course, you can join me over on Patreon if you'd like to directly support the channel. I've been getting hit pretty hard with demonetization and limited visibility recently by YouTube. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up like button. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel for future content. And of course, as we make our way through the video, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the Radian Guardian as I go over its features. Is this something you would consider buying for your Glock MOS or are you going a different direction? All right, now let's hop into the Guardian. So the first thing that everybody notices is this guard, the reason for the name Guardian, I'm assuming, where you can rack this thing off of surfaces and not damage your optic. And I gotta say, I'm with the vast majority of people on this. This is a solution to a problem that did not exist. They are making this for a Trigicon RMR, the most durable optic on the planet. And they're making it for the EPS, which is the closed emitter from Hollow Sun. Again, pretty durable sight. So this is essentially just an unnecessary piece unless you are an instructor who is racking this thing off of iron bars a hundred times a day, every single day. So even though it is pretty much useless, there are a few things I do like about the design of the actual guard part itself. Number one is when you're racking the slide off of your optic, it protects the front lens so you're not putting a sweaty palm print or a sweaty hand print on your lens. Is that an end of the world thing? Is it completely necessary? No, of course not. Just, it's a convenience thing. I also really like the texturing on the guard. If you need to rack your slide off your optic, it really bites into your hand. You get positive traction to rack it. And if you're racking it off of a surface, it will bite into the surface. So if you're in a hurry and you maybe just catch the corner of it, the optic won't slip off the surface. It actually grabs into it, bites into it, and you'll get a positive rack. And the third thing I like about it is just its aesthetics. I think it just looks really cool and I like cool looking guns, so can't go wrong, right? <laughs> it's one of those things where the guard itself is kind of a take it or leave it. Uh, and there's kind of no downside to having it there. So I don't know, why not take it? Now into the actual meat and potatoes of why I like this optic plate. Number one is they got this thing to sit very low, almost as low as a direct mill. So if you're stuck with a Glock MOS slide and you don't want to get it direct mill or mess with that, you can get almost as good as a direct mill with this Guardian. And they're able to mount it that low while still having a very sturdy design because you have the two screws that go into the slide that mount the 
actual plate onto the slide. And then they have their actual stud lock system to keep the optic on the mount. So the way that works is you have two screws that come up through the bottom of the optic and then they have a stud with threads in it that goes over the top of it and screws over the screw. That way they're getting a lot of thread engagement, significantly more thread engagement than an MOS to keep the screws from shearing off. Not only that, but the actual mount itself sits very tight in that MOS cut. So you're not getting forward and back play. There's not stress on the screws going from the mount into the slide. This thing is very sturdy. I have 1500 rounds through this exact setup now and it's not lost zero. It's not loosened up. It's not shaking around. This thing is 100% sturdy and good to go. Now I'm running this on an EPS, but for those of you who are going to be running an RMR, uh, they have a true seal system where you do not need a sealing plate on this. So another little bonus to the design. It's kind of a premium feature. Now this next point is actually my biggest pro for the entire setup and that's how they utilized backup iron sights. So you get a little plug for the rear dovetail here. So you knock out your normal rear sight, put that plug in there, and then you actually get an irons forward setup. Now these sights are flat black, but they're super high quality with serrations to keep glare down. You get a nice clear sight picture with your backup irons and you get the rear iron forward without having to mill a dovetail into the slide. So if you have an MOS Glock, this is the way to get an irons forward setup. And for those of you that don't know, irons forward, just the rear sight is in front of the optic instead of in the rear behind the optic. But my favorite part about it is the co-witness is extremely low. It looks like it could be as much as a one sixth lower co-witness, but it's probably closer to a one fifth lower co-witness. And if you're somebody who knows their way around a dot, you know that you want those backup irons as far out of the way as possible. So I love how low of a co-witness they get with these sights. And as far as fit and finish goes, it is what you would expect from Radian, like with the Ramjet afterburner combo. It is just perfection. This thing is just truly a quality product, well engineered and built. This is hands down the best optic plate you can get for a Glock MOS pistol, but it comes at a price which is my biggest con for the entire product. You're looking at about $210 for the plate and the backup iron sights. And when I started doing the math when it comes to the actual value you're getting here with the product, it pretty much tracks. I think it's an appropriate price for the product that you're getting, but it's just a matter of whether or not the value is there for you. And I think that depends on your needs. So if you get a really sturdy optic plate, like a forward control designs, you're looking at about 70 bucks and then you get a set of backup iron sights, flat black, let's say from Dawson Precision, you're looking at another 70 bucks. So you're looking at about $140 for a forward control design optic plate with backup irons to have a very similar sturdy setup to this. So what that means is you're essentially spending 60 to 70 bucks on the actual optic guard part of this. That's the one feature that you're getting. Granted, it does sit a little lower, but this is obviously the big cost factor there. So if you're somebody who has a need for the actual guard part of this, I think it's a good value. Let's say you're constantly fighting agents from the matrix and you run dry or have a malfunction in a high speed car chase on a freeway and you're going hundred miles per hour in your car and you need to lean out the window and rack your gun off of an oncoming car that's also going 100 miles per hour, then I would say this product is a no brainer for you. If you wanna press check your gun like Keanu Reeves and John Wick without leaving a fingerprint on your optic, also a no brainer. I would also say something to factor in with the price is going to be the convenience factor. One of my favorite sayings is money makes big problems turn into small inconveniences. And when you spend this much money on a product, there is a convenience factor. Right, you're getting built in iron sights without having to send anything out, no lead times, no having to mill anything, refinish your slide. You just buy an MOS Glock and you get essentially a custom setup out of the box with the Radiant Guardian. So if you want the best, here it is, but just remember, the best costs money. Overall, the product does get the Nightwood Gun stamp of approval. This thing works very well, just be aware of its price. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Don't forget to make your next ammunition purchase over at True Shot Ammo. If you wanna support the channel for free, don't forget to leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and make sure you're subscribed. And don't forget to check out the links down below to more directly support the channel. It was great seeing you guys again. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Brett, and this was Nightwood Guns. Nightwood out.